Yeah, I see that. Change mm -hmm. the location. Well, the baby's asleep, so. So, shouldn't you be farther away from the baby? Well, he won't bother us. I guess he was bothering us last weekend. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know why we were downstairs. Yeah. Well, no, what I'm saying is you should be downstairs now so you can be louder. Oh. Yeah, he sleeps soundly. Oh, okay. So anyway. Everyone have a good weekend? Yeah, busy. Busy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. We were talking about right before here the, f the slap heard around the world. Yeah, well, I don't know if we want to... <laughs> get into it first or i don't know you got a you got something like abortion again set up or well i have a topic but it's it's a little lighter because i wanted i thought maybe oh uh -huh. you know you can't always do such hard hitting yeah yeah so i don't know what we want to do first jay were you drunk on saturday you looked a little drunk when How did you see at the party oh um i don't think so you I didn't feel like, drunk. Your face was like weird looking. Huh. All right. Well, I'll see you. <laughs> what were you drinking at the party? Um, uh, vodka clubs. But I only had like three. That's not bad. I oh, heard it was good. I heard the room was super nice. It is. It's a very nice room. Is that very a new nice room? room? Well, it was an old room. It became a the coffee shop. Now we brought it back to an event room. So this was the first event. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool space. Cool. Mm -hmm. How was your very nice. Christmas town? Oh, it was great. It yeah. was great. Makes me feel bad because it'd be a good place for... For everyone here to go to, but obviously. You mean everyone here. here? Everyone here. Like, well, yeah. Yeah. My family. It'd be a fun town because it's a lot of like breweries and wineries and like oh. German food. and. Hmm. I just, hate German food, but well, I'd go. No, nah, like sausage, like sausages. Yeah. yeah, she's never liked sausages. Oh. Like a knockwurst. Did you just meet me? Schnitzel. She doesn't. She doesn't like encased meat. No, no encased meat. No, you like sausages. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Um, oh, but I... no, it was. It's. It's a really cool spot. So, maybe one okay. day. Yeah. And there's I'll a bunch of like I, yeah. cabins and stuff. So, to get like a twenty-person cabin one weekend would be legit. How many rooms is a twenty-person cabin? Six. Six. Yeah. Yeah, because some have maybe two beds. There's might be some pull-out couches. Pull couch. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. So good weekend. Good weekend. That's good. That's Bad good. Bad bed. Man. Bad bed. Small pillows. Ooh. I okay. Like, like barely fit my head. It was weird. How tiny are those pillows? Uh, like the size of my head. It was like it was the <laughs> exact size, but no. Support. Were there multiple? No were there multiple pillows though in the bed? No. I'm were they only... they were square pu pillows? Pu pu pillows. Yeah. Yeah. What other what other? But I mean, not usually pillows are rectangular. No, I mean it was a little bigger than my head, but oh, so it, it was like a twin size pillow. Yeah, it felt Is that like a it. thing? I don't know, but I'm a one pillow guy. I don't use multiple pillows. No, I'm a two pillow guy. No, you have nightmares. Why? I don't know. That's what's always been told. If you sleep out two pillows, it causes who nightmares. Told, who told you that? I want to say mom. Doesn't? I've never heard that. I mean, I do sleep with one pillow, but maybe I made not. that up. I think you made. Maybe she couldn't afford another pillow for you, so she just told you. That. <laughs> From an early age, you wanted two pillows. Yeah, but I have mom, one of those lie. bamboo pillows, so it's got a lot of support. So if You're I don't have like support, mom with your I'm, pillows. I'm, I need support. I feel like you're like mom with your pillows. There's a lot going on in, uh, up in this head. Yeah, we can see that. All right. Okay. Well, there you go. So what about the slap? What are you guys well, talking about? I mean, we were just talking about how crazy it was. Jason saw it live. I did see it live. So obviously to our listeners, you know, 
we're trying to plan out different subjects and stuff like that to talk about. But obviously, this just took place. We're we're, we're talk we're fil- we're recording this on Monday, the day after the Academy yeah. Awards. So the slap Fresh. we're referring to is Will Smith slapping um, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Yeah. I mean, I, I heard about it shortly after. Like, I got a news thing on my phone. I wasn't watching it. And I was like, it must be fake. Did, but no. When you, on the live version, did they cut out him cursing afterwards? They did. So the way it looked, so the live version that we saw was Chris Rock said the joke. Will Smith laughed. It cut. You saw Jada's Pinkett's eyes roll. Yep. It then cut to Chris Rock. And then Chris Rock moved it along to get to pronounce to announce the award. And then he made uh, he was like, oh, here come. he yeah, did yeah. something. He saw Will Smith walk up, slap him. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then Chris Rock was like, um, uh, you know, Chris Rock said what he said, like Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. Everything went silent. Uh-huh. So we heard nothing. All the sound just cut out and we were just staring at Chris Rock who was staring kind of back at us. Gotcha. Like the audience. Then it cut to Will Smith and he was voicing what he was saying, but we couldn't hear it. But obviously anyone who reads lips, like you could see what he was saying. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then they came back on. The entire theater was silent. Chris Rock was like staring out in the audience. Chris Rock looked clearly shaken. And then he said, okay, well, this was like the biggest moment in television. And then it went on. From there, though, I pulled up because I guess like the international market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't. So I pulled it up, and that's when because we still thought it was kind of fake. And then no. when we pulled it up, it was it was not fake. It's not fake. I will say we were talking about that. I think Chris Rock handled it well. As well as you could. Well, yeah, but I also feel like we were talking about that. But I feel like. Like Chris Rock's a comedian and his job is really to rip people, like make fun of people. And yeah. so I really think Will Smith was out of line. I, I get defending your wife and that's yeah nice, but I don't know. It seems like Will Smith might be a little bit nutty. I don't know. Um, Yeah, I feel like, yeah, the joke's in poor taste. Maybe not the best joke, but there's ways to handle that that isn't. Slapping the shit out of someone on well, live television. Well, and I also think that so, so I feel like the whole incident it it really I found it extremely unsettling. I found it because Will Smith I think is sort of like the same because obviously we're we're audience members, so we're not really privy to all this Hollywood inside and all this stuff. And thank right. God for that. But so we don't know about the true history or what's really going on. Um, but something I kind of compare it to in the only, you know, just because Will Smith, he was the fresh Prince of Bel Air. He has a very good image, at least to someone like me that, you know, I, yeah. I watching Will Smith and everything like that. He seems like a nice guy. He seemed like an every man. Yeah. Always stayed pretty like straight laced. It appeared, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So to see him do such a violent, sudden thing and he was extremely unsettling. He doesn't he like he raps, but he doesn't curse in his rapping. No, he's not. He doesn't come off as a very violent man for him to be like, I'm going to go slap him. Yeah. Across the face seems really unsettling. And the slap was bad, obviously. But then like the slap the, was weird. His but form then was the, a little weird. Yeah. But then the cursing sitting in the audience to me. Like, it's one thing that he reacted, jumped up and slapped him. But then the cursing, like. It almost seemed like he was overcompensating a bit. Well, there's a lot that I was telling Jay came out about their relationship in terms of like her having a relationship with someone else. And people were saying, like, he felt maybe emasculated a little bit. So he was reacting to that. Well, yeah, I don't know. Just just to kind of touch on that for a second, though, because I'm 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 not. I'm not understanding that because because when Chris Rock said the joke, Will Smith laughed. Yeah. So Jada rolled her eyes. Now, and here's another thing about this. You know, there's something to be said for the fact that, you know, Jada Pinkett, women in general, can 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 defend themselves. I mean, Jada Pinkett's not some novice. I mean, she's she's part of this business. She's very she's probably tougher than he is. 
Well, she's she does that red table talk. They're very honest about their life. Yeah. She she shaved her head on Instagram, I believe, going backwards now and doing some some research on it. Um, so she rolled her eyes. Will laughed, and then I guess he looked at her, and then she gave him a look, and then he got up and slapped him. Like yeah. I just don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Like the succession of events. Like why did he feel a mask? What? It wasn't about him. No, no. But what I'm saying is, I think her coming out and saying that maybe, so he thinks in the eye of the population that people are like, man, he's, I don't know. And and she was very close with Tupac Shakur before he died. And people always suspected there was something there. So like maybe he always had like a inferiority complex. And I think maybe he saw, I mean, again, it, it does seem weird. It does. Well, didn't, don't they have an open marriage? I think she, it's open to her. I don't know if it's open <laughs> to him. You no, know? I don't, I don't think that's accurate. Why would oh, so he he's no, not he's not allowed to do anything, but she can. I'm not saying he's not allowed, but I don't know. Again, if he's if that chooses, type, if yeah. he chooses not to. Correct. That sucks. But back to the other thing, like with the Chris Rock, because you know, to me, comedians always kind of cross over a line all the time. That's their thing. And somebody came out today and said, like, well. Now, as comedians, it's not fair to us because now we have to be afraid someone's going to jump up on stage and slap us. Yeah, it was um, I forget her name, the redheaded act, the comedian that. Oh, that crazy one. Kathy. Kathy Griffin came out, which I think is a valid argument. She's like, but here's the thing, though. Two things. One. Com- yes, comedians need a certain amount of freedom. But insulting someone's physical, like so, like a disease. Yeah, but have you ever seen like a roast of somebody? People, I mean, the things they say. Yeah. About people, it's about people, but they say that all the time about well, there's people's a, religion. There, I mean, yeah. yeah. There's like a saying with, like comedy, right? It's either all okay or none of it's okay. Yeah. No, and and, and I, I I'm not saying I don't I don't agree with you. I mean, as as a comedian. I mean, in some ways, the the comedians in the world are the are the are the truth tellers. That they're, they're they're basically saying what no one else wants to say, and and to a certain degree, as an audience member, we want them to say those things because we we don't either have the balls or the ability or the opportunity to say them ourselves. So we want them to say it. Yeah. However, you know, there is something to be said for, um, <clears throat> you know, Jada Pinkett being so outspoken. 2016, he did do another dig against her. Um, yeah, so maybe so it's a history. Th- that's what I'm saying. And there might be a history. Yeah, but my point is, I, I don't, like, I, this is the only thing I can think of because it's the only thing that pops into my head. But, like, remember when Mel Brooks, not Mel Brooks, Garth? Mel Gibson not Garth. went crazy. <laughs> Mel Garth. Garth. <laughs> went crazy and, like, ranted about everything. Now, he obviously has some mental issues. But yeah. comedians... I had a field day with that, but at an award show, if he jumped up on the stage and slapped Chris Rock. Yeah. I mean, I don't you don't know, know that he would have accepted an award 30 minutes later. Maybe maybe something like this happened like, before. And Will Smith said, if you do this again, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Yeah. But another maybe thing, too, which, to, to brush it off. But then he as he as it happened within those seconds, I he almost, just got I almost so angry, like uh, just mm-hmm. in typical man fashion, like he was laughing, like he wasn't actually listening. He was just yeah. laughing, and then it like he saw his wife's face, and he was like, "Wait, what do you say?" And then it... Yeah, but I mean, of of all three of them, Jada Pinkett behaved the best. I mean, she was she rolled her eyes, which was her right to do. Yeah, it was about her. If anyone had a right to slap him, it was her. I mean, and she didn't. So, but also, just to kind of go with that, Chris Rock is a comedian, and he's funny and all that stuff. But he he doesn't strike me as. Uh, and maybe I'm wrong, but his humor doesn't strike me as cruel. I really don't think that, and I could be wrong, but I really don't think that he was trying to insult her medical condition. I think he was comparing her haircut to GI Jane, not the reason that she yeah. had the haircut because to a layman that's watching the audience, the, the show, no one knew she had that. I, didn't I mean, there, people knew because she made it public, but yeah. I honestly did not, I personally did not go, he's making fun of her disease. I thought he's making fun of, he's comparing her haircut to 
the character, yeah. not he's making fun of her medical condition. There's a few a few comedians today like tweeted something like, "Really, a GI Jane story? Like that's a joke? That's from the '90s? Like get current, Chris Rock? You know, like." <laughs> well, who is um who is the actor? Who is the comedian that was supposed to host the Oscars and stepped away because of Gervais? past? Oh, who Kevin was it? Ricky Gervais? Kevin, no, no. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Hart. Kevin Hart. I mean, Kevin Hart walked away from the Oscars, which I, I think was his choice wow. um, because of statements that he said in the past that he apologized for. I mean, Will Smith assaulted a, an African-American man on national television. Well, and again, I'm not getting into a race card, excuse me, <clears throat> but like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to know. We were talking about this, like if it was Chris Rock and I don't even know who would like Ben Affleck and the, did it. Like, I feel like they they didn't know what to do with it because that's never happened before. They yeah. I read something that they were thinking about throwing him, like removing him. But but then like to have him win 30 minutes later and be that celebrated so awkward. and then go to the parties and sell. I mean, to me, it's like they should have at least said you won your Oscar, give your uh, acceptance and go home. But like, yeah, he didn't. Well, and I think, you know. You know, now now there's so many conversations. You have people who are saying that Will had every right to stand up for his wife. Then you have people saying that Chris Rock needs to have the freedom to be a comedian and insult and, you know, make fun of. And then you have people who are saying that he was given a pass because he's Will Smith. And there are people that are saying that it's hypocritical. I mean, all of this and also that it's toxic masculinity and that Chris Rock should, shouldn't have started it and Will... All of this, all of it is true. All of it's accurate. Like none of none of the, even though we're kind of talking yeah. about different aspects of this one act, all of them are true. Yeah. But like. It's possible yeah. for them both to be in the wrong. Computer. Well, and that's what I mean. And I think, but again, like there had to be other people at audience that were made fun of by maybe Chris Rock or Amy Schumer or whoever else was there. Oh, Amy Schumer made a comment that she's getting flack for, for Jennifer Lawrence, because she said that she's gained some weight. Now, Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence are friends. And I believe Jennifer Lawrence is pregnant. I think that was the, oh, well, that was the joke though. Gotcha. Like Amy Schumer was poking fun at it. So there needs to be, and also she, someone said something that she made Kristen, uh, what is the no? Who is who is the one that? Um, yeah, that she 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 made, made it to she called her a seat filler and made her get up. Again, we're you know you know it it's 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 this understanding that you can't. I kind of see what Chris is coming from to a certain extent too, because it's like co comedians are supposed to make fun of people. That's it's funny, like to to bring up things. And to kind of awkward situations and yeah. kind of make them more awkward. That's entertaining. Yeah. And if you live your life in the spotlight, and that's my thing. This is my my problem. If you live your life in the spotlight and you put everything out there, like the fact that you have alopecia, you know, then you kind of now I know it's a disease, but at the end of the day, she, she could have thousands of wigs. She has enough money. So, like, apparently if you, you put can't that wear out there. It like oh. irritates it. But again, she looks lovely, bald headed. So. No, she does. But also, I mean, you're right. Like, you know, they they are very they're successful. They're they're superstars. They're well known. But they're human. I mean, she she, yeah. she she's in the public eye, and she has a to a certain extent a very embarrassing condition. She describes it in one of the interviews in her show as. Terrifying. I mean, she was in the shower and clumps of hair was were coming off. Yeah. The thing is, she didn't have to tell everyone that. Like, she could have just come out with shaved head, and people would have been like, "Look at Jada Pinkett Smith with shaved head. She looks great." She chose to do that. So, when you're a celebrity, you take the good, you take the bad. You take them both. I I really enjoy the facts of life reference, but <laughs> I'm going to I, I'm going to say this though: just because you volunteer and just because you choose to live your life in the spotlight does not necessarily give others permission to to there is a there is a level of you know respect that it doesn't like just because you live in the spotlight doesn't mean that they can film you taking a shower in a private home of yours the yeah thing. Now, yeah, but there are limits to private lives though. there are limits but when you give the information out comedians 
have the right to take anything you say and make it part of their comedic act. It happens. It's been happening. Mel Brooks. You know, I mean, what about that thing with Jiminy, that other guy, what's his name? Martin Short's character when he talked about the Holocaust. Like, yeah, that's, it was cringy, but it's funny because it's, it's a taboo subject that that's what comedians do. They make you laugh about it. Yeah, but I, here's the thing, though. The only thing I will comment on that is, yes, you, 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 I, I see where you're going with that. But there, it's like making fun of it. Okay, let, let's throw it this way. Um, Lady Gaga brought out Liza Minnelli. Liza mm-hmm. Minnelli, I, I'm not even sure if she knew where she was. Very gracious moment with Gaga and everything like that. You're not going to make fun of Liza. At, like, you can make fun of Liza before, but you're not going to make fun of Liza at the Academy Awards. Right. Well, because night. Liza's not in the position to defend herself. Because she it's even cruel. She, it's, she has no control over that different but yet she came out on stage like your 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 comment is saying well she went out on stage so she should be able to be made fun of a comedian could decide to make fun of but don't you think that's cruel well i don't think that comedian would be a good comedian because again this i get what you're saying jada pinkett smith has a a issue but it's not a me- like things like it's a that. disease it's a disease yes but it doesn't stop her from living her life and making her making money doing her career liza minnelli obviously is has mental issues, brain issues, whatever, Alzheimer's. So no, but people make fun of people with Alzheimer's. Yeah, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess it all depends if people laugh or not. Well, but 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 I mean, again, Jada Pinkett being confident, looking beautiful in the condition that she has, it still doesn't mean that she should be ridiculed for it. No, I mean, well, so here's I the mean, ironic part is that. If he makes that joke, she rolls her eye. Nothing happens. No one remembers it. No one remembers the joke today. Yeah. Maybe some people call uh, Chris Rock and say, uh, he made this joke. He shouldn't have made it, but that's it. But now no one will forget that joke or her I mean, shaved the, head or her alopecia. He made it worse. Will Smith made it worse. Well, and the joke didn't, if you remember from the live, from the broadcast, the joke didn't get booed. The people laughed because I don't think anyone don't knew. Think- I don't think either anyone knew or anyone thought that Chris Walk was equating his comment to her medical condition. Right. I think Just he was equating it. Got a shaved head. That, the horrible movie that was G.I. Jane. I don't think it was horrible. No, but yeah, I mean, I think that's the Michelle thing, doesn't like Demi. She's had a thing out for. No, Demi I mean, I liked her in some things, but like I think <laughs> a few years ago, I can't remember. Ricky Gervais was hosting, and he made comments, and I can't remember who it was. Oh, it was Tom Hanks was in the audience. Like, like he oh, yeah. didn't find what he was saying funny. But you know what? It was funny. He didn't get up and punch him. It'll be interesting uh, to see. But uh, I think that, you know, somebody I, I saw the, uh, you know, because obviously uh, this whole thing, uh, I don't know if this is necessarily the right word to describe it, but it, it's it's fascinating how that it happened. I mean, last night's Oscars was historic for a whole bunch of reasons. One, um, a, a queer woman of color who is Afro-Latina. One, Anita, who the only other um, um, Latinx, I guess is the proper term, that won run 60 years ago for the same role. Wait. So, what they win? both won for Anita in West Side Story. Gotcha. Supporting so, actress? Yeah, Rita Moreno. and um, I haven't seen the new West Side. It's beautiful. And then a deaf a deaf actor won the best supporting. That was historic. And a Who? deaf film. I don't know the actor's name, but okay. for Coda. For Coda. But here's the problem. All those great things happen. No one's gonna remember it. I haven't heard about one of them. So what he did yeah. was single handedly overshadowed his his Oscar win and everybody else's else Oscar win, which is No, but that's what I'm saying though. It, it was a fa- that's what makes this whole thing fascinating, is that it 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 is infamous now. The whole yeah. the whole infamous it's, in, it's infamous. And not to mention, you know, the award that Chris Walk was given out was for documentary and quest West love. West. And Jimmy Fallon was on, I think, to today's show today and he was basically like like I felt bad because his winning and he worked really hard on that was overshadowed by yeah, this. Super which awkward. is which is which is terrible. Super yeah, they did awkward. ask. I think they asked Questlove, and I think that the actors, everyone they asked, 
I think did beautiful jobs of saying like no comment and stuff like that because no one wants to I mean everyone's allowed to have an opinion but it was such a jarring experience that I think people are still trying to like really yeah. like like to kind of realize what they saw but what Will Smith said in his acceptance speech about what Denzel said to him I think was interesting but at the same time I think this was Will Smith's lowest point I don't think you know at the height of your no success devil comes out i think no i think what he meant was like the night you're getting an academy award i didn't mean like yeah but he did that to himself because even if he wasn't nominated if him and jada pinkett smith were in that audience they he still would have made the comment about her hair even if he wasn't nominated so he did that to himself well, he would have been up there he would have been sitting in the front row i don't think yeah I, um but just i'm sorry go, going off the whole thing watching different interviews and people reactions and stuff like that i did watch the, the view commented on obviously what happened and whoopi goldberg um joy behar actually came out and said i as a comedian i'm i'm scared to 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 comment on things am i is someone going to come and slap me and um whoopi goldberg i as she normally does she kind of treaded the line of you know she, will smith made a mistake and he did i mean let's let's just be you know he made a human error and it was yeah. it was wrong it was absolutely wrong it was it was criminal what he did um and perhaps i mean he did apologize to chris rock he issued a statement today um to chris rock so there's there is that um chris rock isn't pressing charges so i mean you know it is what it is but it's just Weird. it's sad crazy it's wild I think, I think it's just a very sad situation agreed i think it is sad not that and that's sad. all i'll I say mean, about that yeah i mean don't still go home at the end of no, the day i don't so, yeah care no it's much. not gonna actually change our lives but it's almost like these what i was trying to compare the two and I, i'm not necessarily comparing them because they're both african-american but it's sort of on the same line of like cosby it's like here you have like no. this person uh... no but what i'm trying to say is that their their actions weren't the same but they're both it's it's shocking that these people that in your mind you don't know them but you've you've given them sort of these you've tapped onto them a history and an emotion that might not be legitimate because you don't know them but then when they do something you're like oh my god like yeah. will smith was screaming at the top of his lungs I mean, like it's a very human thing to do it's very human so I will never watch Independence Day again. Wow. Just, I'm, just, I'm just joking. Oh I probably would never anyway. So. Wow. No, but I think, I mean, yeah. he's a bad boy. Bad boys. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it affects his career. I don't think it will, but. Or both of their careers. I mean, Chris Rock was just slapped on stage. Yeah. I think it'll only help Chris Rock's career. Yeah. Uh, most of you the know comments what? I saw were yeah. in support of him. In six months, he'll be talking about show. this. Yeah, he'll be talking about this in his stand-up and <laughs> making millions of dollars. Amy Schumer did really covered it well, too, because she came out afterwards. She goes, did something happen? Because the energy <laughs> in the room has really changed. So, once He took again, that slap well. He he took the slap, and I think, once again, that's, comedi that's, that's why comedians are beautiful, is because she came out, it was awkward, you weren't going to change what just happened, so instead of skirting around it, you make fun of it. Yeah. That's what they do. But Chris Rock took the slap the way Will Smith should have taken the joke. Just like, okay, well, that, I'll talk to you later. Like, yeah. yeah. And there's, see, I also think. Yeah, there's something else there. Without the slap taking place, I could totally have seen at like the Vanity Fair party, Jada Pinkett walking up to Chris Rock and slapping him herself. Like, yeah. Jada Pinkett looks like she could take care of herself. So it, I think that's the toxic masculinity part of it, where it's like, I need to defend my woman. It's almost like she's a, like a. A possession it's like she she can yeah. take care of it's like she's used to this business well you don't have to like shield her from it i wish i could have seen her face like when it happened her reaction to it oh oh like Sorry. when the slap occurred uh nicole kidman's face like if you pulled it up on google like she just looks shocked i like ryan gosling's face <laughs> oh, he's like that's... laughing well it's it's shocking like that's what it's, I would have been just like laughing, like what the shit is going on? Well, even here at my house, we had people over and all of us, like everyone got really awkward because no one wanted to like react the wrong way or was it real? Well, the person sitting behind Will Smith when he was cursing, like, don't say that, don't talk about my effing wife. What was it, Lupita 
Yeah. She looked really uncomfortable. <laughs> Big wide eyes. She was just like, oh my God. Well, she was laughing at first. And then as he kept going, she was just like, um, okay. Like, it, 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 I love those. Anna, if we're going to find some levity in it, I love those like moments where like she's, she, you're not sure. So you're just like, okay. <laughs> and then like you realize like it's real. So you have to kind of yeah. like, and then you get worried. Because it's like, what's wrong with Will Smith? He's broken. Broken. Wow. All right. Now what? Do you want to go into what I wanted to talk about? Yeah. Right. I mean, we're at the 30 minute mark, believe it or oh. not. Well, touch on it. Touch on it. Touch <laughs> on it. Touch keep, it. Uh, Just a keep tip. A, keep us, yeah, uh, keep us uh, on the same. When we get to like 40 or 45, let us know, because then we really should rein it in. But go ahead. What's the subject? All right. Okay. So, and actually this came from our sister. Oh, I was, shocker. I was talking to her about it. So it's, it's a little more thought provoking, not, not a topic that is going to cause too much trouble. But if you could be, if you could compare yourself to one fictional character, so made up character in a book, a movie, uh-huh. wherever, who would you like? Who do you think you would be? Wow. Wow. Cause I wow. think we should all decide who are, who we think we are and then try to quickly decide like who we think Jason is. Okay. I, and I didn't really think about it <laughs> too much. Jason I didn't really, keeps taking the mic from Michelle. I, I don't mean to, I'm sorry. I didn't really think about it too much in order to kind of not have an upper yeah. hand too much. Okay. Um. So fictional character, we think we are. I don't, I've never thought about this. I have one for you. Oh. Do I know who I think Jason is? Yeah. Ross Geller in Friends. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, I act like yep. the fictional character Ross Geller. Well, let's just go down the checklist. Serial adulterous. Check. Uh, I am not. <laughs> does, like, weird hand things. Like, you know. I mean, he's... His mannerisms. His, rea- pop- yeah. his reactions yes. to events. He, or very Jason similar. has probably worn a woman's sweater before. Uh, yeah, Guaranteed. remember when I bought that that like um, uh, sweater vest, but I didn't try it on, and it was like a sports bra when I got home. Like yeah. it came up. Like the spray, t- you never did this with the spray tan, but I could see that happening. I could definitely see that happening. So I think, yeah. The leather yeah. pants debacle with the well, with the Jason, powder. Who do you think? Who would who would you compare yourself to? Uh, fictional character that I would compare myself to. Um, I think I would be like uh, Sh- uh, Schmidt from a New Girl. <laughs> that would that rings some bells for me. Um, I was gonna say Schmidt, but I think he's. You're not as dumb as he is. Like he's much more pompous than you are. Yeah, I don't think you're I'm pompous. pompous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but his reactions to things, uh, because once again kind of kind of touching on the whole comedic thing part of the funny is the shock value of things and i i don't want to sit here and i don't view i'm not saying i'm a comedian but i do like to make people laugh i enjoy doing that yeah. especially on stage yeah. and everything like that i don't know if people would find me funny if i wasn't playing a character per se but mm-hmm. i don't i don't know if that's true but um but that sort of idea with with the schmidt character it's it's yeah. um I'm not pompous, but I do like to kind of say things that are kind of shocking and stuff like that. Okay, I could see that. What All about right, Michelle. What about me? I I can't really think of someone for myself. So who do you think? Ugh. Fictional character that you're like. Um. um well, if you're being honest, I mean Monica Geller from Friends. I mean how she is always has to have her way and. I was thinking like Mrs. everyone pots. <laughs> you <mean> the beast? <laughs> the teapot? Um, huh. I wouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have gone that way. It's a guest. It's a guest. <laughs> Be our guest. No, stands oh. with a guest. Oh, okay. That's what Mrs. Potts sings. Sorry, um, I have to type something. Um a fictional character that you're like, Michelle. Um Oh, well, no, no, she's an actual person. But um, 
but the the female the female Ghostbusters, I think Megan McCarthy's character in that is like you like just think she, because of that one scene where she gets slammed around in the proton pack. Michelle, if so, if one of the Ghostbusters <laughs> is happening, that's happening to you. I've never been. I've never. You keep saying I'm always falling. You fall more than I do. But to be fair, she's not falling there. She's being thrown. No, sweetie, I never said that you fall all the time. I said that there are like six times which have been epic that have fortunately have just spread throughout your yeah, life. Yeah, and it's more so not you've done these things. It's more we would love to see you in these situations. <laughs> also, they've been done to you. It's not by any fault of your own. All right. Um, I can't think of one for myself. I can't either. Uh, Christopher, uh, what character do we think Christopher is like? Mm. Um, uh, E.T. The neck. The neck is like E.T. <sighs> um, you need some new material. No, it's classic. It's a classic material. But see, like cruel. Like, I, I don't just know, maybe like, uh, like Clark Kent or like mm. someone maybe Peter godlike. Parker a little. Maybe Peter Parker a little or the guy from Footloose. Uh, Peter Parker. Ren. Footloose guy. I feel like if he couldn't dance, Christopher would would stop at no cost to get. The I'm Kevin back. Bacon. You're Kevin Bacon. I'll be Kevin Bacon if Jason's my farm boy. I'll be your farm boy. <laughs> okay. Well, look what we've done here. <laughs> we've done it. We've completed it. Also, Ren, I think, is a cool name. Yeah. The, the uh, female lead in Footloose is one of those women that I can't tell if she's attractive or not. I think she's not. Who she's is got it? like a skeleton face. Yeah, and like she's super skinny. Like super yeah. skinny. Who? But sometimes she does look attractive. It's tough. It's like Maggie it's like Maggie Gyllenhaal. Nope. I find Maggie Gyllenhaal attractive. No. But I don't I do, it's not she as she looks like a bulldog. I don't that's horribly mean. Like a sad Chris dog. Rock. <laughs> You're Chris Rock right now. Um <laughs> She has a sexiness about her. I, I thought you were going to say Maggie from The Walking Dead because she, she is attractive. Who? Is it Maggie? Who Maggie. the hell's Maggie? From The Maggie Walking from Dead. The Walking Dead. Oh yes, Laura, Laura, Laura Cohan or mm-hmm. Cohen or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. she is attractive. She is. She is sexy. I didn't yeah, say Chris, sexy. You... I'm trying to I did. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. Married man. I'm allowed to find people sexy. <laughs> Yeah, it's so hard. I feel like I thought this would be easier. No. Well, clearly you both did really well with me. Well, you're very much Ross. You're, yeah, I mean, you're not very unique. You're just a I template. Mean, I think I would I would say if I had to pick someone just right off the bat, I would say Monica because I think you're right. She likes to control things. She likes to be clean, have things in their place. We did do a choreographed dance for many years, so. Did Kate, yeah. did, uh, did our sister offer up? What she thought she was? No, she didn't. But um, who would we think she would be? That's a good one. She'll be listening. Um, I don't know. When I, I think like, like a Muppet. <laughs> uh, Luca Brazzi. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was so joking with Dad that. last night, and I said that. Uh, I would say Jason is like um, Fredo Corleone. <laughs> Why do yeah. you think that? Because I'm the though. second son. No, but he was very like he went to Vegas. He he was in the entertainment circuit. He well, betrayed think, his family. Huh? I think of it because I would assume Michael, maybe most like Joe, and if Joe had to kill one of us, he'd kill you. Yeah, and I think he would be he would be. Um, Tom Hagen, Christopher would be the consigliere, oh. which I think Kayla would be Sonny. I hate to say it. That checks Sonny. out. Sonny. Michael. Sonny, the older one. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yeah. That would really be more Joe, too. So I don't know. I don't know. That other boy. Oh, we can't well, then say Michael that. is Michael. And yeah, Michael's he, Michael. He'd kill you. That seems right. That tracks. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. <laughs> Also, we just said a bunch of names. I don't know if we're supposed to say. Whoops. Yeah, yeah whatever. He doesn't listen. <laughs> trying to test him to see if he listens to us. Yeah, we're going to test him next time we see him. Maybe he'll come on one time. Mm, I don't think he will. Maybe if we get a voice changer. He'll, <laughs> the, no. Just the fact that, that he'd have to drive to see you to do it. 
He's not going to do it. We go to him. He knows too much. Or we'd he thinks he does. Um, yeah, I thought this would be easier. Even like I was thinking books, but I can't read. I don't know. You can read, Chris. You keep saying that. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> I think Chris could, well, no, once again, I keep thinking of like historical figures. I was going to say Chris is like Howard Stern. Howard Stern? Howard Stern? <laughs> no. He could be like the um, in the what? young Santa Claus. Is Howard like Stern a life, historical figure? The life and adventures of Santa Claus. Couldn't you see Chris going into the forest, like making toys for kids? He's done that. That's where he was this past weekend. Yep. With the beard? Up at the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's that's an interesting conversation. You Maybe did better than I thought it. you would. Maybe we introduce, we reveal our choices next podcast. Yeah, maybe think about it. Who you think is good for yourself? Like really? I think Mrs. Potts deep. is really good, to be but honest. But why she's a British old woman? She's a pot. But she's a caregiver. <laughs> oh. She doesn't have arms. Neither do I. Well, no, I do. <laughs> 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 Surprise, folks. All right. I mean, that's nice, but. I guess. I would like to live in that house, but it was very, it lived very. It's a castle. Cas castle, very poorly decorated though. Yeah. Well, that's the point. It was under a curse. I think we're done. I think we're done now because yeah. we're talking about an animated castle. Jason would be Lumiere if he was one of them. I was actually cast as Gaston, if we're being honest. You're, You're not, not in the Gaston. castle. You're not. Would you be the clock, Christopher? The clock. Cogsworth? Well, you'd be Chip. There you go. <laughs> no, Chris is freaking LaFou. <laughs> We're only talking about castle characters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm LaFou and Joe's Gaston. That makes sense. Did you say Gaston? Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> this is really... All right, so that's the homework for next week. All right. Uh, who comes up with the subject next week? Oh. Uh, I mean, Michelle's subject was weak at best. And Kate and our sister came up with it. So, all right, I'll come up with another one. <laughs> all right, maybe it's something a little more hard. I'm just gonna do this every week. Try to find a way maybe. to weasel out of my turn. <laughs> but I didn't really get it. We didn't really get to explore it too much because we had to talk about the slap. Well, yeah, uh, uh, that's a valid conversation. I know. Hopefully, nothing we have to crazy comment on happens pop next weekend. Well, having things to talk about that take place in the real world is okay. All right. So there you go. Well, good talk. All right. I guess that's all we got for you today. That's all we got. Good episode. Hopefully it's up tomorrow. We'll see. All right. Fingers crossed. Thanks, thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.